Hey guys, what's going on? Murder of Birds here. So in the last couple of days, I've received a ton, and I mean a ton of emails, messages, notifications for people who are inquiring about Ruby Volume 4. If I've seen the episode, am I still going to be uploading my reactions when you guys can expect it? Some of you also wondering where you guys can watch Ruby Volume 4 yourselves. And there's just a lot of information to be processed over the last couple of days regarding the nature of Ruby Volume 4 and how that's going to in turn affect my uploads of my reactions, my reviews, my live stream discussions and everything else like that. So this video is going to be very informative for you guys of giving you the information that you need regarding any concerns you have for me, my channel, videos you can expect me to come out with and just the overall nature of how things are going to be moving forward for the next couple of months. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to address because a lot of people were actually asking me this over the last couple of days is murder. I can't can't find where to watch Ruby Volume 4. It's not on YouTube. It's not on Crunchyroll. Some people have seen it. Some people haven't seen it. What's going on? So uh, to give some clarification on this, uh, Ruby Volume 4 premiered on Saturday, October 22nd on the Rooster Teeth website for Rooster Teeth First members, which is kind of a premium subscription service for account holders on the website. Uh, they get a bunch of different perks, one of which being they get to see content earlier before anybody else on the website. And that's generally where Ruby Volume 4 is going to make its first debut anywhere online. Now, if you're not a Rooster Teeth First member, you don't have to worry about it. If you're unwilling or unable, that is completely up to you. 24 hours later, anybody on the face of the planet can go to roosterteeth.com, create a free user account, they need a username, email, and password, it takes under a minute, and 24 hours after it premieres on Saturday, on Sunday, anybody can go to roosterteeth.com, like I said, create an account, and they can watch the latest episode of Ruby Volume 4, uh, you know, and be hyped and be excited with everybody else. So with all of that said, in regards to where Ruby Volume 4 can be watched outside of the Rooster Teeth website, Rooster Teeth's policies have actually changed in the last year uh, when it comes to their animated series like Ruby Chibi, Red vs. Blue, and now Ruby Volume 4 where last year there was a 24 hour difference between it being exclusive to the Rooster Teeth site and then for the general public like YouTube and Crunchyroll to where now that gap is actually expanded to about a week. So while it is exclusive to the Rooster Teeth website, it kind of encourages people to directly support Rooster Teeth and where Ruby is kind of housed and fostered on the Rooster Teeth site of, you know, creating a free account, watching it there and having the most early access to watch it on a website before it comes out to the general audience everywhere else. So basically on Saturday, it's available exclusively on the Rooster Teeth website for Rooster Teeth First members. 24 hours later, it is exclusive to the Rooster Teeth website, but anybody can watch Ruby Volume 4 if they create a free user account. And a week later, it'll be officially released to the general public on YouTube as well as Crunchyroll for anybody to watch on whether platform you want to watch it on. And for those of you who do have Crunchyroll, that does require its own separate premium subscription service to be able to watch Ruby as soon as possible. So just keep that in mind. Now, some of you guys are probably wondering too, well, then where do my reactions come into this? And the kind of nature of the reaction videos in this grand scheme is kind of conflicting and is an unwarranted president uh, for Rooster Teeth when it comes to kind of having the initial viewing of Ruby on their website before they're going about, you know, releasing it on YouTube and Crunchyroll a week later. So essentially a reaction video can kind of bypass all of that and allow somebody to not directly support Rooster Teeth or even the people who are making the videos to just weasel in and just watch the episode for free and get off scot-free. So Rooster Teeth has actually taken to Twitter uh, some community members, uh, head of Rooster Teeth Animation, Gray Haddock, had also notified a few reactors to not upload any type of video footage to their YouTube channels when it comes to reacting to volume 4 until this corresponding episode is released on the Rooster Teeth YouTube channel. So basically by the time it's out on YouTube it'll be available everywhere to watch. Rooster Teeth's website will have gotten the primary benefit of having it exclusive for that week and then Crunchyroll and YouTube will have it so that way it's out for the general audience as well as our reactions. And that is essentially why you probably haven't seen anybody uploading reactions to Ruby Volume 4 thus far outside of the opening because the opening is already released on their YouTube channel. But basically I kind of I'm, I'm all aboard. I'm all aboard with them doing this because first off, Rooster Teeth is unlike any other kind of company out there. Any other kind of company would see someone reacting to their show, being dedicated and passionate about it, expressing themselves to the community. They would see that as a form of, oh, you're stealing our work. We're losing money because of you. Rooster Teeth sees it as free promotion. Rooster Teeth as a company likes to see people, you know, how they respond and how they react to the work that they put so much hard effort into. And I'm personally just, I'm accepting of that. It's fine. It's completely good with me. Uh, and it actually gives me another week to work on extra editing and videos and stuff like that, which, you know, I have a lot of stuff in plan. Uh, I can't deny that I'm looking forward to a lot of people's general reaction to the first episode in the series as a whole. So I'm going to be waiting just like all of you guys. But for those of you who are looking forward to my reactions, that is just something you're going to have to wait on. So basically my reaction and many other reactors episodes 
episode reactions to Ruby Volume 4 will be uploaded when the corresponding episode is out on Rooster Teeth's YouTube channel. And generally, I'm kind of fine with this extra week break because I have a lot in store when it comes to things that I'm planning for Ruby Volume 4 in particular. Uh, it gives me an extra week to do editing, to make sure videos are coming out on time and stuff like that. And essentially, aside from the reaction bits, I'm still going to be doing live stream discussions. I kicked off the Ruby Volume 4 Chapter 1 live stream discussion uh, the Sunday following the episode coming out for, you know, for the general audience on the Rooster Teeth website. It was a great turnout. We had over a thousand people in the live stream discussing the episode with me, each other in the chat, and that's great. And I'm going to be doing that every single Sunday, whether it's a World of Remnant or an actual episode of Ruby Volume 4. The only time I won't do that is when Rooster Teeth kind of goes on a break. Usually on the holidays, they don't release anything. So that is generally the only time that I won't be doing a live stream discussion on my YouTube channel. It'll be happening around 6, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every weekend. So you guys can look forward to that. Uh, and then following that, I will also have a more formal condensed review, which will be out before the next episode. And then the following weekend, uh, my reaction will go out for the corresponding episode that comes out on Rooster Teeth's site, and then the cycle will start all over again. Uh, and essentially, that is everything. That is everything in a nutshell regarding the new format of how things are going to be moving forward with my upload schedule of my live reactions, my reviews, my live stream discussions. For those of you who are also wondering where and when you guys can watch Ruby Volume 4 instead of waiting the extra agonizing week before it comes out on something like YouTube or Crunchyroll. And essentially, I just wanted everybody to be on the same page with this because this is something that a lot of people are getting hyped and antsy about. And uh, just know that my reactions are going to be coming out. I'm going to be really excited to be getting back into them with you guys. I will have a special reaction out in a couple of hours prior to this video being uploaded. Uh, I'm going to be working on it for a bit and then, you know, bringing that to you guys. And then you guys can look forward to my reactions this upcoming Saturday or Sunday. I'm not entirely sure. Whenever it's out on Rooster Teeth's YouTube channel, you guys can come to my channel or check out any other reactors out there who are doing Ruby Volume 4, much like myself. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for the support. Leave me any thoughts you guys had in the comments. If this was informative for you, if you guys learned something, I'd really appreciate that. And uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Take care.